Hello and welcome to CPA Side Solutions tutorial on how to upload an image. My name is Wyatt Crispin. I'll be showing you how to change the welcome page you see here to one that has an appealing image. If you want to follow along with me, you can log into the portal by going to any page of your website. I'm just going to the welcome page and scrolling down to the bottom. It's here on any page that you'll find some login text. If you click on it, the portal login will come up. It's here you put your email address and password that were created for you at the time that you were created as a user. After putting those in, click on sign in and you're set to go. For what we're doing, we're going to click on modify your site. And once we're in to the modify your site area, we're going to go ahead and highlight over the text we want to edit. We're going to be inserting an image to this welcome page. So we're going to click on that. The editing box is going to pop up. Here we're going to decide where we're going to put our image. I'm going to go ahead and place that image right at the top here. To put an image into my site, I'm going to choose this icon right here. This is an insert image icon. I click on that. Another box comes up. It's from here that I'm able to go ahead and choose my images. If I have one already in place, which I do right here, then I can go ahead and choose that image. If I don't, I'd go ahead and upload an image from my computer. You'll see another box come up. I browse for that uh, image and I'll go ahead and upload this, this one right here to show you. Click open and then click upon upload. The upload will take place. Uh, I want to make sure that my image is small enough to be uh, viewed on a web page, so uh, I may need to reduce the size of that. The editor allows you to reduce it somewhat. I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to choose this image and not this one and go ahead and insert it. Now as you can see here, the image is way too large for what I'm doing here. But if I scroll over here, um, I can go ahead and highlight that and you see how that changes into the arrows right there. That allows me to resize the image much smaller than what I had before. Ideally you want to actually go ahead and resize this somewhat if your image is really large, but this editing box allows you to resize it a bit. I like the size to be about right there and I've been able to insert my image in there. Now if I want to, I can right click and choose image properties and it's here within the image properties that I'm actually able to change how much space let's say is surrounding the image and I usually like to have a little bit of space in here so I'm going to choose 10 pixels of space and that'll give me some room and also allows the image to flow now I, I want my my image to be where it's at but I could float it to the left or right and that's when you want the text to be around your image very nicely I just want it up top though. I like the image, it's nice and big. I want it up top, so I'm gonna click apply. And my image is there. I also, you know, I, I want this in the center. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center and I can just go like that and boom. See how it makes it go to the center like that? And then I click save and it'll save the, the image, change that from that to that. And I'm done. That concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding what we've covered, go ahead and give us a call here at CPA Site Solutions, 800-896-4500. Alternatively, you can email us at support at cpasitesolutions.com. Thank you.